What's your favourite form of dancing? That's one of my questions. Well, you, you stand the good <laughs> between us. What do you like? But because I've never done any of these styles, mm. I don't know. I just don't know what I'm going to love at What's, all. What style have you done? Have you done anything in the past? I've done a bit of Charleston. Oh, I know. Uh, that's about it. Nice. Have you had well, any yeah. previous dance experience? Or uh, no, I didn't train. I wasn't really I was interested. Nine. I was a real tomboy as a child. So, like, dungarees, making my pies, the work. And dungarees. Uh, a nice pair of dungarees. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I never did. But then I trained in musical theatre 20 years ago. <clears throat> so, Get and out. I have done... Where'd you go? I went to Guildford School of Acting. Well, Guildford? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I almost went to Dorian Burns. Oh, did you? For Dorian Burns. I got in, naturally. Of course uh, you did. But then I couldn't afford the grant. They wouldn't give me a grant, I couldn't afford the fees. No, it's very, oh, expensive. It's very expensive. So, yeah, I, and I've done musical theatre. But I'm always, uh, you know, given a part, so I'm the actress that might, might sway a bit. So, yeah, I've got musicality. And obviously I've got the best teacher. So, win-win. Fantastic. But Can't why... deny the truth, can you? <laughs> I can't tell you. Have you been asked to do Strictly before? Or is this the first time? This is the third time. This is so, the third time? Yeah, I was, back, I was back in 2008 and I had a meeting and then nothing happened, obviously. And then last year I was asked, would I be interested again? I said yes, but nothing happened, obviously. This year I said yes, please. And it happened. And how now I'm exciting. here. So how did you get the news and what was the whole audition process like for... Um, so oh, did you have to audition for the show? I did, yeah. Did you? Yeah, I met, met up with uh, Johannes and three of the producers and we did a little waltz and a little cha-cha. How was that? I had a lovely time. I literally came away and went, I'm, I'm, I, I really would, if, if I get offered this, because obviously it's not a guarantee, you still have this meeting, Never used to audition. do that in the old days. In the old days, never used to do that. Really? I used to pick one who was standing upright and then they'd go, you'll do. Literally, that was it. You didn't have to... Really? Oh, no, we didn't have auditions in the old days. Oh, no. No, I tell you. But I loved it after the audition. I thought, no, if I get offered, if I'm lucky enough, I'm just going to have the best time. You, the you are going to have the best time. I am going to have the best time. <laughs> and what's the reaction been like from your friends and family as well? After well, obviously, nobody knows that we're together yet, so I can't answer that, but I think it's going to go absolutely crazy. Have you not told anybody? Have I've you been very good? No, I've told mum and dad, of oh, course, yeah. <laughs> obviously. Mum and dad know. Of course um, they do. My mum was crying. I could, she was literally oh. back on a flight because um, uh, she surprised the grandchildren. Because I told you, we did yeah, little message, didn't we? Yeah, you to Spain. And then um, she cried. She literally stopped and my poor father. Get a grip, girl. Get a grip. <laughs> so, yeah, but everyone's going to go me mental, I think. They're going to just absolutely love the news. I love that. <laughs> but I guess you haven't had any training together yet. So no, not yet. we don't need training. It's not us. We're just going to go out there and wing it. We're going to just, we're going to wing it. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go out there. We're going to be amazing. I'm very, very excited about this one. I don't know if I've told you. And um, <laughs> I can't wait. It's going to be so good. I can't even tell you. <laughs> What are your first impressions of one another then? After not having Brilliant. spent a dream, too much time absolute dream, dream, dream. absolute dream. dream. She's much younger than I'm used to. I've got to be honest with you. Well, I was going to say you were quite surprised getting paired with Emma. <laughs> wow! <Well, laughs> history would have is, dictated. You, you don't, yeah, you don't. No, exactly. I um, well, I wasn't surprised to be partnered with Emma. Yeah, I mean, I could be partnered with someone, so I suppose it's no surprise I was partnered with her. But it was uh, it was. If I was to have, see, I can't say it out loud to you because I was going to say if I was going to, if I had asked me who you would liked, I'd have said Emma. But of course, I, but I wouldn't say that out loud. Of course, it was very unchivalrous to have said that out loud. But between you and me, and I know one's watching this, uh, I, Emma was the one I was, I was secretly I plumping for. Mm. What was it about her that? Meant well, it's just what, look at her. She's tall and marvellous and gorgeous and talented. Got her own teeth. <laughs> oh, that'll, that'll do for me. Sober. That is brilliant. I mean, I'll have that. Yeah. How far do you think you're going to get in the competition this year then? Because obviously, a bit of a shame. Out well, first last year. Yeah, all right, don't go on. I, um, uh, I think we'll probably still be in it in January, if I'm honest with you. I think we're going to be so good. We're just going to carry on. We're just, just going to just, yeah, just go for it and enjoy every moment. Mm. It's going to be, yeah. going to be immense. It's going to be immense <laughs> I can't wait have you had a taste of how it's going to be juggling this with EastEnders as well and we're going to be seeing less EastEnders honey well luckily I, I practically live here so this is nice so I'm just literally going to move from one stage to another stage so it's going to be very handy yeah I'm um, you know luckily I, I I'm not not shy of 
working hard and I think when you've just been given an opportunity like this you've just got to go go for it 100%. Have any of your former co-stars given you advice? As yeah well? they have they have they just said just work really hard eat well sleep well and get plenty of mass mass massages. Oh, I see. Couldn't speak this. Mm -hmm. Drunk again. Mm. And um, yeah. You spoke too soon about being sober. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. not sober at all. I'm absolutely <laughs> happy about um, it. Yeah, it's massages. And I was like, well, I'm happy for that. So yeah. I love a spa, I love a cheeky spa. Who in particular? Um, she sure, doesn't let mind. You, she goes wherever, wherever there's a masseuse, really. Um, so oh, I've, had, I've, had some love, I've had loads of friends do this show over the years. So um, Kelly Bright, Jake Wood, Scott Maslin. Letitia oh God, Dean is literally like my oh, sister. Oh, Letitia Dean. She's my sister. Well, da um, Darren Bennett, didn't she dance with Darren she Bennett? She did. That's well, like another love. Jesse yeah. Wallace, Nat Cass. Jesse Wallace did it? Yeah. Jesse Wallace did it. I forgot about Jesse. Who did she dance with? Darren, I think. I mean, he's been through them, let's be honest. Him and Kevin. And who else? Um, who else? Um, Faye, lovely Faye. She was on last year. She sent me a lovely message. Toza. Yeah. Do you know Faye? I worked with Faye back in uh, 2005. Who yeah. are you, see? Gorgeous girl, gorgeous girl, and the lovely Debbie McGee. Oh. Who I did panto with a few years Bendy ago. Bendy Deb. So loads of tips, loads of tips. Yeah. Is there anything they've said you need to be worried about as well for doing the show? <laughs> what I'm worried about, I, I do bruise like a peach. So, um, yeah, makeup's going to have to work hard on me covering up my bruises. I mean, you literally only have to do that, and I come up with it. It's really weird. No, I'm not worried at all because I'm in the best hands. Very the king hands. of no, velvet boring. gloves, you know. Velvet gloves. As long as you've washed your hands, it's all right. <laughs> Twice a week. <laughs> What have you already Make found it. out about each other? I think that we literally, it's like two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> Just think we're going to be ridiculously silly. She makes me laugh a lot. Camp, yeah, Camp. he makes me laugh. Christmas. Camp and just, just fun, and he's just so kind, and that's how I respond really well to I don't like people barking at me. So, and I don't... Bark to anybody No, laugh. exactly, so win, yeah, absolute winner. I was going to say, how strict are you? Are you prepared to to have Anton be with you? Maybe, maybe not very by that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a week or two. Yeah, see how I settle in the first week. And then, yeah, he might, he might he might be a different person week two. <laughs> Um, but doing, obviously doing the show, it comes with all this extra tension with tabloids and press, and is that she's that side of it? She's from EastEnders, I mean, she's used to yeah, that. Uh, yeah, I have been, yeah. This is on another it's level, though, It is another it's, level. Know, it's, 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 you've just got to just go with it, I think. You, haven't, you can't worry about things like that. I think I've got to focus on what my feet are doing. Then worry about what people are writing about me or, or saying about me. I can't, because that... You know, what can you do? You can't control can't, it. You can't control it. Nothing you can't control is the judges' comments as well. So no, how are you feeling just, about... Well, I'm just going to give them an apple every Saturday. <laughs> so, or something. Or it might just get... The, the presents might get bigger and more expensive every Turn week. Turn up in a bag. No, That's yeah. for you. That's for you. Just a little you. something. Just a little something for Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> um, so obviously, again, with a bit of the musical theatre, did you find that doing the group dance, you picked up the steps? quite easily and were able to remember? Yeah, I mean, we had the best choreographer. I've never met Matt Flint before. He was just amazing. Shorter than you expected, isn't he? Yeah. Shorter than you expected. <laughs> I know, he seems like he should be taller, but he's very short. Right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and they were lovely, sort of looked Four after us. Is it, is it? Oh, is it? Oh, Human I'll text him later. Yeah. I didn't realise you were um, and yeah, and very, very lovely. And yeah, I had, uh, I danced with um, Who did you have a go with? I had a, look, I had a go on three. Yeah. I had a go on Johannes, Graziano and Aliash. How was it? I was very lucky. I had a lovely time. Well, no, I'd, uh, I'd a have lovely a lovely time, time given that option. Mm. I'll be honest with you. But you have to say that out of all four of them now, Anton is the best. Oh, well, 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 of course. the best or last. You say, oh, well, this is it. This is it, save the best or yeah. last. Do you, are you generally quite a competitive person? I'm really not. I'm really not competitive. But th that might change. I've never thought of myself as being competitive. But I don't know. Do, I mean, does it? It might. You've not really done many competitions in your life, I no. guess. No. And this sort of thing. So it's yes, thing, weird. This. I don't know. But it says it can change. People, you can go in just really chilled and enjoying yourself, and then you're like, I really want to do this, and I want to get to the next week. Yeah, I just don't know how I'm. You never want to go home. The thing is, you're always fighting against going home, getting voted off, and so you're always. And of course, you've got no. You've got no control over whether the audience at home or the viewers d decide to ring and vote for you. So you'll try and do the best you can in order to get as many points from the judges as you can get. So give yourself a little bit of help. maybe help, yes. a little bit of leeway. So, so you're in, one's always competitive in that respect, that you try and do the best you can. But. 
Go now control sure. everybody else. Looking worried now. Downstairs. <laughs> I know. What you do. It's got to get real. Again, I haven't really thought. Yeah, it is. It's the real. Yeah, just thinking. Oh my goodness, this really is real now. I was, I was in makeup, and Anton was looking at me, and I just had to stop him from talking because I went, "Oh my God, I'm speaking to Anton." <laughs> Off the telly. I mean, I'm literally the biggest fan of Strictly on the planet. I've watched every year, and it is. It still doesn't seem real. So when they get those paddle boards out, is that oh, what you yeah. call them? The well, it's just yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. That's going to freak me out. That's always a bit. You go like that. You go like that. You go. Wow. Well, not the big. Seven. <laughs> Another big part of the whole Strictly experience is obviously the incredible makeovers and the makeup oh, and the dresses. How best team, the best team. What an absolute honour to have a dress made for you. It doesn't happen, does it? Not anymore. Not in real life. Not, not in real much, life, no. you know. And I just think that's just a lovely, lovely thing to say. This is actually made, made for me. <laughs> and the makeup and hair department are just, I literally am going to move in with Lisa Armstrong. I told her. I just want her to do my face every day. Every morning. Have you every been morning. in that um, tanning booth a lot already as well? Because people a tan get a bit addicted. Up. Oh, yeah, I love <laughs> that. Oh, I had a lovely tan. Double up. dip. I had a double dip. <laughs> Strictly frowned upon, quite frankly. But um, I uh, never had a fake tan. Never had a spray tan. Why not? Never had one. Well, look at me. I don't need it. I've got a suit on. I mean, it would be a bit indulgent if I stood there. Go on then. Well, I think, spray I think we me. should change it this year. Why not? Get him in there. I'll, get, I'll push him in. <laughs> I'll push him in. In there with a the sock. <laughs> that definitely sounded like a threat. Um, <laughs> just realised what you just said. Just too many mental limits. <laughs> and a mitt. Sock and a mitt. <laughs> Have you picked up any aches and pains so far as well? It's like no. they're talking to you, Tommy. Corn's no good, I can tell you. <laughs> I won't take it personally. I've got nasty corn. I will have to go and see the stropitis <laughs> after this. Come on, let's go and have them dug out. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> no. Um, the other part, big part of the show, obviously, walking out in front of 12 million people By on a way. Saturday night live. Mm. Obviously, you know, you're very used to telly and, and being an actress, but that's actually being yourself and that's quite yes, a Well, no, no, it. she's a character, not herself, is she? But a character, she's an actress, isn't she? Yeah, I'm going to try and have to think that I'm here to do a show tonight, I'm here to entertain, mm -hmm. and that's it, because if I think too much and it is just me walking down a set of stairs, it's going to end in disaster, so I have to, have to think of it as a, you know... I'm doing a show. I think that's it. Actors find it quite useful in, in that yeah. gaze because you can just walk out and, and yeah. assume a character. Assume a character, yeah. But then when obviously it does come to the judges or talking to Claudia afterwards, yeah, but that's, that's you when then. I'm trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest, I'll literally look very sheepish then. I'll be like, oh, we'd be <laughs> tears, do you think, as well? Could Only be. of delight. <laughs> tears Excitement. of delight, yeah. Another 10. Oh, yeah. 